Hakam Abraham Hamwe, a rabbi from Halab in the 19th century, wrote the following regarding the seventh day of Pesach in his Pesach Mazur, which he called Beta Behira. It is customary for the righteous and men of good deeds to study on this night and to talk about the acts of kindness that Hashem performed for his nation, as it is written in the book Kiriye Mu'ed. Go and take it from there. And in the early morning hours, they wake up and read Pirashat Peshalach and the Shira, standing and facing the east until the end of the verse that concludes, Ani Adonai Rofe'echa. From here it sounds like the custom was practiced by pious individuals at home. However, in many Middle Eastern communities, the customary reading was conducted in the synagogue. In some places, they read after dinner before going to sleep. In other places, they would wake up after midnight or in the early morning pre-dawn hours to read from the book Kiri'e Mu'ed. In his book, Mu'ed the Kulhai, the Behind Palaji wrote that one should be careful to wake up in the early pre-dawn hours to recite the songs, which refers to biblical songs, such as Ha'azinu, the song of Deborah, the prayer of Hannah, the song of David, various psalms, and Shira Shirim, all of which are found in the Shirot section of the reading for the seventh day of Pesach in the book Kiri'e Mu'id that was also referenced by Hakam Abraham Hamwi. And Rabbi Palaji continued by saying that after reading those songs, Shira Tayam is recited with a pleasant voice and great concentration by the congregation. And he continues by saying that one only stays home that morning if there are concerns about leaving the house at that hour. The custom of waking up early and reading on the seventh day of Pesach was also mentioned by the Kafa Hayim Sofer. He supported the custom with a Gemara from Maseket Sanhedrin that taught, Kol hakore pasuk bizmano mebi toba la'olam sheneemar dabar be'ito matob. Anyone who reads a verse in its appropriate time brings goodness to the world. Like the verse says, how good is a thing in its appropriate time. And he also quoted Maseket Sofrim where it says, Anyone who mentions, who mentions a verse in its proper time is as one who builds a new altar and offers a sacrifice upon it. In Brooklyn, several synagogues conduct an early morning pre-dawn reading from the book Kiri'e Mu'ed. Kiri'e Mu'ed is the same book that's used for the all-night readings on Hoshana Rabbah and Shabu'ot. On the morning of the seventh day of Pesach, we usually only read the Shirot, the biblical songs, followed by Pirashat Peshalach until the end of the verse that concludes Ani Adonai Rofe'echa. Pirashat Peshalach is usually read a little bit before dawn, and dawn is usually around 5 a.m. in Brooklyn on the seventh day of Pesach. It is not customary in our community to read the other pieces found in Kiri'e Mu'ed for the seventh day of Pesach, such as the passages from the Tanakh found in the beginning of the reading, or the passages from the Talmud or the Zohar. In episode 88, we discussed the custom of Halab, of adding the verses that begin with Vatikah bin Yam and Shahrit on the seventh day of Pesach, after Shirat Hayam. Beginning with Vayosha, the congregation recites Shirat Hayam in unison, and continues until the end of the verse that concludes Ani Adonai Rofe'eka. So the custom in Middle Eastern communities is to read from Kiri'e Mu'ed on the night or in the early morning of the seventh day of Pesach. Some read at home while others read together in the synagogue. In our community, we read the Shirot followed by Pirashat Peshalach until after Shirat Hayam concluding with the verse that ends and then in Shahrit, we begin reading together from Vayosha and add the verses that start with Vatikah Miriam until the end of the verse that concludes.